Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. Today's video is going to be a try on and introduction to this new wig from GeniusWigs.com. I'll have all of their information, promo codes, and direct links down below in the description box. So the wig that I'll be trying on today is a headband wig. It's from Genius Wigs. It is 20 inches and it's 180% density. So of course we know headband wigs are the trend, especially on YouTube because of how versatile they are, how easy and quick they are to style and just put on your head in 10 seconds. I love the versatility of headband wigs. They're perfect for your busy days. They're perfect for unexpected home visits. They're perfect for unexpected FaceTime calls. And they're just perfect for when you are just not feeling like doing your hair you just need something on your head to run to the store or whatever the case may be. It's also perfect for working out as well because you can wear it in a ponytail, a bun, and you still get that look without having to put much effort into it. What makes this wig super unique from the headband wigs that I've tried before is that you can get three looks in one. Basically, you can wear it in this blown out look, which looks like natural hair and it's very full and thick. You can also flat iron it for a sleeker look and you can also wet it and wear it curly. So this wig was created using wet and wavy hair, which means that you can go from curly to straight at your convenience. If you want to wear it straight for lunch and then for dinner, switch it up to a curly hairstyle, you can absolutely do that. The next morning you can make it back straight. You can curl it and straighten it as many times as you'd like. And I'm super excited to see how the curls look on this wig because I do like the texture. Because it is 180% density, I know that with that density I can make it as full or as um, thin as I want because if I want more volume all I would have to do is just pick through the hair or you know elevate the curls in a way by using a diffuser and if I don't want it as big or full looking I can just wear it in a ponytail or use a lot of gel to get it to look a little bit thinner so I'm super excited to style this beautiful wig and to help me with styling this wig, I do have my trusty flat iron and I also have a diffuser. I also have a spray bottle of water because we will be testing out the straight and curly hairstyles today and I do have some gel that I'll be using to style this hair when it is wet. So straight out of the package, this wig does come with your standard black headband, but the company did also include two headbands for me to switch it up, so we will be trying on those two headbands. The wig does have a total of four combs and an adjustable strap. And of course, the black headband that comes on the wig does have Velcro for a more custom fit. Straight out of the package, you will notice that the wig is a 1B off black hair color, but you are able to darken it if you want like a jet black or a darker hair color. So if you're unfamiliar with headband wigs, they are so versatile and super easy to install. If you are new to the wig wearing world, you really don't have to do anything to your wig, but just clip in the combs, tighten the Velcro, and then style it to your preference. I love the fact that with headband wigs, you don't have to use any adhesive, glue, or tape on your edges, so you can save your edges. You do not have to wear your hairline out at all. You can just wear the headband over your hairline completely. So another thing that makes this company unique as far as their wig construction is the fact that they double stitched the wefts on the wig because you are going to be wearing this hair from wet to curly, curly to wet. You don't want to have a lot of shedding um, while manipulating those hairstyles. So I like the fact that they did take the extra step to go over the wefts more than once just to make sure that you have as minimal shedding as possible. Okay, so without further ado, let me try this wig on. Another thing that I like about headband wigs too is that your hair doesn't have to be completely flat underneath. And my hair is not flat at all. <laughs> it's actually in a ponytail. I'm just going to adjust the combs. And then secure the, the Velcro. And it's that easy. <laughs> Obviously, my forehead isn't that large, and um, so I don't have that much forehead space, so I would have to pull this back a little bit, y'all. Just, just a, a teeny smidge, but you can also fold the headband as well, and I find that that's helpful when you are changing the headband and adding a different flair by switching it up. I find that when you fold the black headband, it doesn't show through when you apply this on top, because sometimes... 
you can see that black headband underneath and it kind of gives it away that it's a headband wig, but okay. Okay, so of course with this, this is the blown out look. However you would style your hair when it's blown out is how you would wear it like this. So basically, if you wore the hair curly and you want to get the blown out look again, all you would have to do is wash and condition the wig. And then you would basically just blow dry it and that would give you this blown out look. This is perfect for your gym days. Um, I think the blown out look is super cute when you're doing a half up, half down hairstyle too. Because it gives you that volume and fullness. And it gives you that realistic looking hair texture because this definitely is giving me like my natural hair when it's blown out texture. So I love that about this wig. I'm super excited to put water on it. But before that, I'm going to try a half up, half down hairstyle with the blown out look. Of course, I always have the option of moving it further backwards to expose my hairline. And then I can either wear it like that or add baby hairs. But today, I'm just going to see how I like it like this without any of my hairline showing. Ooh, I like a little side ponytail too. Okay. <laughs> and what's so good about headband wigs is that the back of your hair doesn't necessarily have to show. So if you have some kitchen naps like me, all you have to do is pull the headband back um, further down to hide that, hide those kitchen naps, y'all. So of course this blown out look would be super cute if I did get my curling iron and like curl the ends of it. I think that would give me my natural, everything I need for my natural hair. And I had like some earrings on, I think that would be super cute too. But here is how the half up, half down hairstyle would look. You can also put it in a bun. Of course that would be super cute too. Ooh, this whole thing in a bun would be cute. Like, if I wore it all up in a bun. I'm going to try that in a second. But I just want to show you guys the how the bun would look. Okay, so for the next hairstyle, for the blown out look. I am just going to wear it in a low ponytail and then I'm going to flat iron it so you guys can see it in a more sleek and straight hairstyle. This is also super cute too. If I was to take my curling iron and curl it, it would give me like that flip over method. Super, super cute. Okay, I love the fullness of this wig. Let's comb her back. And of course with this one, you can also do a bun. <laughs> I love buns. I love buns. They're just so sleek and polished looking. I could pin this down too if I wanted to. Where's my bobby pin? I love it. Comment down below where you would wear this sleek bun to.
Okay, so let's put this here to the test. I'm going to be wetting this side and curling it and leaving this side straight. Which do you prefer, curly or straight? Let me know your comments down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. I'll have all of the information, promo codes, and direct links to this wig down below in the description box, so don't forget to check down below for more information. I 100% recommend this wig. I'm obsessed with the hair texture. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell for more videos, and I can't wait to see you all in my next one. Bye, guys. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. I, I, I.